What's up guys? So this is just going to be a quick tip about using a velocity field and a field force to get particles to move across uh, your surface in a specific direction uh, with control over what direction they're flowing. So you can see here I've got this linear field and based on where that's going we can control how these particles are flowing across the surface. And it's just blended with a random field. So if we turn the random field off, we can see it clearer that the particles are just flowing based on the orientation of this linear field. Okay, but yeah, like I said, since this is done with a field force, you can then go in and mix it with other stuff like a, uh, noises and all that good stuff to just get all sorts of uh, really interesting looks. All right, so let's see how to set this up. Let's make a new scene. And I'm just gonna steal my model. Turn that on. Wrong model. I don't use the cooler one. Where are you? You're in here. You're in the volume builder. Oh yeah, this is it. Okay, so this is our model. And you can notice that this is actually still fast, even though this is a really dense model. Hopefully the YouTube cops don't get me because she's she's all white though. So Maybe it's maybe it'll be okay. Um, okay, so we're gonna drop her into a volume builder. Set that to vector. Let's decrease the voxel size to say one. Now there's some tutorials out there that show how uh, you can bring in a random field into this. Set this to cross product. Just kidding. Set this to cross product. Maybe. Uh, I need to. Oh, yeah. Set this to objects below. There we go. And, uh, and you can see that you get something similar. So this is similar technique, but not the same thing. Um, you may or may not be able to see this, but these vectors are, uh, are basically going kind of like perpendicular to the surface. So if we emit, part emit particles from this surface, the particles will make kind of like a swirly curl noise across the surface, but we're going to be doing something a little bit different. So instead, we're going to actually make a linear field. And we're going to drop that in here. We're going to set that to cross product. Same thing. Go in here and say objects below. And so what you'll see, if we grab our linear field and we start to look at the directions of these vectors. Actually, you know, what's a better way to do this is to just go ahead and put this in the field force as a volume object. And we're going to say, uh, set an absolute velocity. And let's hide this. And we'll go ahead and grab our model, make an emitter. Uh, we don't need any speed. And let's set our mission a little higher, maybe 5,000. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. So this is maybe like a better um, representation of what's going on with the vectors. And let's pick this up so we can see them moving a little bit faster. 
And maybe let's grab our particles and add tracers. So this will really sort of showcase what's going on. Let's not do 5,000. Let's maybe do like 900. There we go. So this is also cool. Uh, as we change the direction of our linear field, you can see what's happening. We can change the direction the particles are flowing around the model. And in this situation, also, we can rotate the linear field and get interesting effects like that. So that's cool too, but even still, that's not what we're doing. But that's also a valid technique. So let's go back to our volume builder. And what we're going to do is make a folder, drag these guys into the folder, and then I'm going to drag my model back in again and set this guy again to cross product. Now, when we press play, you can see that all the particles are just flowing straight up along the model. And that orientation is totally controlled by this linear field. So whatever direction you point the linear field, that's the direction the particles are going to flow across the model. So that's really it. Um, volume builder, model, linear field, cross product, folder, model again, cross product, and there you go. Then within the field force, you can do all the normal stuff that you can do with a field force like I just did in that previous example which was to make a random field and I think I had uh, I think I had that set to well let's just go look that was set to multiply so let's just set this to multiply and if we press play Looks like that. Let's maybe increase the scale. And another thing that we can do is turn it down. The It's having a little bit too much influence. Let's turn this up so things are moving a little bit more. Okay, and then if we go in and animate our random field, say maybe 40. Let's go into our tracer and say uh, limit from end and maybe give them, let's say 15, 16, that's fine, whatever. And just by adjusting uh, in here, how strong that is, we can control how much the uh, how much the random field is having effect in here. Let's maybe turn off the tracer and then let's bump up the particles a lot. And what I had in there was just. Uh, Let's go in here to the properties, go to the colors, set that to noise. Slow to preset, maybe this one. Had a couple of other things going on. And uh, now that I've shown you the, uh, that that's the technique, that's it. So everything here, I'm just gonna kind of show you what else I had going on in there. Um, so I have a condition in here because uh, with the random field you'll end up with some sort of like dead spots in terms of movement uh, just because of how that noise works 
there's some points that sort of like end up in kind of like equilibrium. Uh, so I have a kill modifier under the condition just that uh, when uh, when things well, let's not even do that. But yeah, when things hit a, a velocity of zero, it just kills the particles. So any particles that are uh, totally static just immediately get killed. Um, that's off. So yeah, other than that, it's the same thing. I just did some stuff with like the color and animating the randomness and all that sort of stuff. But that's pretty much the technique. I don't want to go too crazy because this is just a quick tip. So that's it. Have fun. Uh, like and subscribe for more stuff. Have a good one.